This is Shanghai today, 1990, less than 30 years ago. Shanghai was nothing, just a piece of, you know, a farmland. But within 30 years, China made city like Shanghai like this. We have a lot of cities like that developing the past 30 years, grow so tremendously. When we came here, people prepared some videos. I asked a lot of Americans, what do you think about China? They think, hmm, panda, bicycles, great walls, Tai Chi. I say, no, these things. <laughs> China has changed. We from nobody today become the second largest economy of the world. Thanks to the globalization, thanks to America, thanks to Europe, thanks to the, the people's hard working and partnership. 1972, when Nixon and Mao Zedong signed an agreement, opened the chapter of the political partnership between China and the USA, China did grow very fast. People like me, I was born in Hangzhou, the city where Nixon visited in 1972. I was like eight years old. Because of that, Hangzhou became an open city. Because of that, we have a lot of American tourists to come to Hangzhou. I start to learn English, giving free tour to those American visitors. And I learned to think different because everything I learned from the books are so different from the things I heard from the American visitors. I know there's a world that is totally different than the other side of the world. In the past 30 years, China embraced the change. In the past 30 years, China took the decision to open and to reform. In the past 30 years, China opened globalization, which today I think globalization was the name created by Americans. But today, the Americans don't like the globalization. We start to like it. And China also embraced the internet. If America was a country on wheels, China today is a country on the internet or on the mobile phones. And China start to learn from America in the past of the years. We learn from America, we learn from Europe, we learn from America with great appreciation. People like me, I never got one tra day trained in America, but I believe I know much about America than most of the Chinese, maybe more than some of the Americans. I respect the culture. We learn today in China, in Beijing, Shanghai, or Guangzhou, big cities, when you pick up 100 young people, you will find 80 of them can speak as, at least 50 English words. If you go to Washington, New York, San Francisco, if you pick up 100 young people in, in America, how many of them can speak more than 10 Chinese words, except from xie xie? <laughs> when you learn, when you embrace the change, you have the chance. People start to complain about globalization. I think globalization, nobody can stop it. It will continue to do. The only thing is that how you can change yourself to embrace it. And our China manufacturing is going good. It's doing pretty good in the past 30 years because the Chinese manufacturer study American consumers. They try to make sure the American, European, the global consumers love their products. This is China has changed, but I think America is a great country. American dreams, the Alibaba dream was get from the American dreams, 1985. I learned so much. I read so many books. I read the, the GE way. I understand the eBay. I understand the IBM. All the things we tried to learn. And next to 30 years, China is going to be much faster growth. Past the 30 years, American economy was the engine of the global economy. I believe the next 30 years, America still will be the leading economy engine of the global economy. But China is going to be another big engine for the global economy. 
China is shifting from exporting to importing. We have 1.4 billion people. We have more than 300 million middle class. You know how many people traveling, Chinese people traveling around the world every year? Last year, nearly 150 million Chinese people traveling outside China. 150 million people. This is a movie nation around the world. And in the next 10, 15 years, China is going to have 500 to 600 million middle class. The demanding for high quality products, high service products is huge. And I would say that, think about what does that mean? Well, before I, you know, how many cities in America has more than one million population? You know any idea? 10. How many cities in China has more than one million population? A hundred and two. One million population in China is like a village, but in America it's a big city. My city has only 8.6 million people. It's ranking nothing in China. But the demanding population, middle class, means so much. Imagine the Chinese government announced that in the next five years, they are going to import 8 trillion US dollars. What does 8 trillion US dollars mean? I think China will import much more than 8 trillion, at least 10 trillion US dollars in the next five years. In the past years, big companies of America are already all over China, all over the world. So in China, you see almost all the big American companies there. But we need more small business. The next amount of importing to China, export to China, this opportunity belongs to small business. I'm encouraging all the government should set special free trade zones for small business. Because <laughs> it is so difficult to convince successful people. One of the reasons why Alibaba succeed, because 10 years ago, we focus on those young people who are 18 years old, 20 years old, because they are not successful. If we help them, spending time with them for 10 years, they will be successful. But those people who are very successful, they will give you 100 reasons why we should not take this of new innovations. So spending time, on the future and making sure that generation, I noticed that many American senior people, they spend a lot of time on sending, receive emails, young people using the WeChat and, and chat on the mobile phones. This is the generation change. So the generation change is going to be scary. Let's make it an app and also please use the internet. Please trade, do business with China. Please learn and find the people who are smarter than you are. Thank you very, very much.